Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to install the MongoDB server in our local system. <clears throat> Normally, the MongoDB server we can use it in two ways. We can use, we can install in our system locally, or otherwise we can use the MongoDB Atlas, the cloud platform. We can use it in the cloud also. Let's try to see it how to install in our local. So if I click on MongoDB. And here you are having a MongoDB website. Let's open this MongoDB website. And here this is our MongoDB website. At the time of this recording, the MongoDB version available is the 5. 6 is also released as a release change candidate. But we are using the current stable version that is 5th version. <coughs> now if you go here products, you will be able to see the Atlas developer data platform. So this MongoDB is, will be hosted in the cloud so that you can use the cloud database. So the basic tier will be free and you can for a small projects and all those things you can use it without any problem. This is an enterprise version. So the, the, uh, the support will be provided by the MongoDB team. So if you want to install the MongoDB and all those things. This is a community edition. So this is free and open. This is a free. This is a free. You can, uh, you can install it in your local machine and you can play around with it one. So let's try to use this Mongo uh, community server. <coughs> So we need to have the MongoDB server which stores the data and also we need to have MongoDB client which is a shell MongoDB shell which through the commands we will interact with the server and we will try to store the data through the MongoDB commands. So first we will install this MongoDB server and if you click on this community server in the product section so here you will be able to see this MongoDB community server and here available downloads you will be able to see the current version is 5.0.9. And the platform right now I am using is the Windows because of that reason. So here you'll be able to see the Windows thing. If you are using other than any Windows, Mac or Linux, Ubuntu, anything you are using means automatically this one will try to select auto populate this according to your video operating system. If it is not selected means so you can select it. You can select it from the drop downs available. So right now I am using Windows. It is automatically selected and I am using this MSI installer or otherwise you can also install the zip also. So now click on the download. It will take some time to download. So let us download. So the total it is available is 289 MB. So it will be taking some time. Let it download. Now the MongoDB <coughs> installation has successfully downloaded. Now let's try to run this installer. So I am clicking on this MongoDB here. So it will open a window here. So welcome to MongoDB 5.0.9. So just go through the installation. Let's go through the installation steps here. I am clicking on the next and here it will be asking you to accept the terms and conditions. Okay, let it let accept and here you'll be able to see two options complete and the custom. So let's move on to this custom thing. And here if you try to open this one, so you'll be able to see the MongoDB server. So which tries to store the data and here is a client. So which we can interact with the server and these are other tools available for the supporting of this MongoDB. So now automatically when we are trying to install this MongoDB, a client is also getting installed so that there is no need for us to install the MongoDB client again for writing these commands and all those things. So now I am clicking on the next. So here you, it is telling that MongoDB as a service. So I am, I am taking out this one so that it will be automatically start the MongoDB server in the background. And the service name is MongoDB. If you want to stop, you can also stop in the services.msc file. And I am going to here it is asking to install the MongoDB Compass. MongoDB Compass is also a uh, client side client tool which uses the graphical user interface. So now the Mongo shell, the client is a command line interface. Whereas this MongoDB Compass is a graphical user interface where you can through the graphical user you can you can add the you can create the records and you can delete the documents. You can delete the collections, create a collection. These are all the things you can do it. So right now I am not doing about the I am not installing the compass. So when we are trying to learn the compass, we'll install it. If you want any other tool, you install it separately means you can also it is also available. So you can install it directly. <coughs> so now here let's click on this install. So it will take some time to install. So let it install. So here the MongoDB is successfully installed. So let's click on the finish. And where it has been installed means if you go here. So in this C drive. In the program files, and here you will be able to see somewhere MongoDB. So here you will be having a MongoDB. Okay. So here we are having a MongoDB and the server. 
let's go on to 5.0 so this is the version we have installed and here you'll be able to see the bin and in this bin you'll be able to see here mongod.exe automatically the mongodb server is running in the backend so this is a mongo.exe file that is nothing but a client side tool so now let's click on this one now if you click on this one automatically a command line will be opened here so this is our mongodb server connection string and here this is a command line interface so now if you want to show see the dbs so you can click on show dbs okay we are able to see that admin config local shop so these are the four different types of databases existing in our in my system so now if you want to use any 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 collection <clears throat> any database means so you can use use shop okay so this is the db i'm using so switch it to the database shop now if you want to see the collections that are available in the shop means so show collections i can use this one show collections now this is the collection that is available so now if you want to see db.products.find so if i click here so here i am able to see these are the list of documents that are available in this products collection now if you want to see it in a formatted way means so you can use pretty and here you will be able to see the <coughs> in a formatted way the documents so here in this products collection we are having a documents and these are all the elements so if you try to see name leela price then these all the things are added actually so this is how we, we will be installing the mongodb server and this is how we will be checking the uh, connection whether the server has been set up or not so there is also an another uh, client tool so which normally the people will install so that is nothing but a mongodb shell okay mongo shell you can also call it as if you go here mongodb shell download or otherwise let's go here mongo shell manual and here it is currently right now it is seeing 4.4 let's go into the 5 current and it will be telling you that the so mongo shell has been deprecated in mongo 5.0 so the replacement is mongo sh okay so let's go on open this mongo sh and here it will be telling that install the mongo sh okay let's click on install mongo sh and here if you try to see here so for installing this mongo sh so you need to use some cloud hosted deployment or local mongodb deployment so we are actually running a local mongodb deployment we have installed the mongodb community server so let's go on to this windows and here you'll be able to see mongodb download center so i am clicking on this mongodb download center and here you'll be able to see the mongodb shell so this is the current version 1.5.0 and i will try to install the msi version so let's click on the download <coughs> so it's a small file 40 mb only so let it install so now it has been successfully installed now i will be opening the mongo sh so that client side tool also you can use it or otherwise so this mongo shell also you can use it mongo shell why we can use it is this is an interactive javascript uh, environment so that it will give you in a nice uh, formatted way i will try to show you so this is the place where this software will mongo shell ka, will be installed so let's copy this place so here i am clicking on the next let's click on the install so this is automatically installed let's click on the finish and i am going to the windows here so i will be opening the place where this mongo shell command has been installed so here you'll be able to see mongo sh.exe so this is the shell client so if i click on this one again in another what i can say a, a command prompt will be opened just like like that so it is asking that connection string so let's click on enter so that automatically the client side will be taken so the default one so which we have did it so here it has to took this one so let's clear out this one so the same thing so if you want to use show dbs so you can use this one use shop i can use select this one so now i can use db.products.find so the difference between that client shell and this client shell is now if you try to see these are all the values are coming in a color so green color yellow color so like a nicely formatted structure you are able to see it. without typing the pretty i am able to get a nicely interactive way so this is the difference between this mongo shell and the that uh, default one which is provided by the mongodb server so whatever the thing you want you can use it so both are one and the same only so whichever you want to prefer you can use it so you'll we'll use the both the things so right now we'll use this mongo shell why because we will get in a nicely formatted manner <clears throat> okay nice fashion manner you'll be getting so highlighted is all text and all those things you'll be able to get it so this is all about how to install this mongodb server in our local system hope you understood about this installation thing 
if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you